Hi students, in this video we are going to learn about ischemic trigger using OPAM. The other name of ischemic trigger is regenerative comparator. We all know what is comparator. Then what is the name of regenerative? So here regenerative means positive feedback. Then what is regenerative comparator? So regenerative comparator means if you are adding a positive feedback to the comparator circuit that is called regenerative comparator or it is called ischemic trigger. It is clear if you are adding a positive feedback to the comparator circuit. If you are adding positive feedback in the comparator circuit the gain can, gain can be increased greatly. This is the circuit diagram of ischemic trigger. Here we are applying the input voltage to the inverting terminal. This is the feedback network that is given to the output to the non-inverting terminal. So in this circuit the input VA is applied to the inverting terminal. So we can say this is inverting ischemic trigger and the feedback voltage is applied to the non-inverting terminal. Now it, it is clear. Okay then here the input voltage triggers the output voltage V0 every time it exceeds certain voltage. Okay, when the input voltage exceeds some certain voltage, it triggers the output voltage. Okay, the input voltage triggers, I said the input voltage triggers the output voltage. It exceeds some certain voltage level. That voltage level is called the upper threshold voltage and lower threshold voltage then the input voltage VA is greater than upper threshold voltage means our output voltage will be plus Vz that means plus Vcc okay that is equal to this supply then VA is less than lower threshold voltage means our voltage is minus V saturation or VEE. This is clear. Here the input voltage compare with this feedback voltage. Every time it compare with the feedback voltage. When it exceeds some voltage level it triggers the output voltage. Again it comparing. So it is compare the input voltage and the feedback voltage so it is called regenerative comparator what is the difference between comparator and the ischemic trigger comparator means we are not adding the positive feedback to the car circuit ischemic trigger we are giving the positive feedback and let's see the transfer characteristics for VA increasing and VA decreasing so this is the transfer characteristics so this is drawn between VI and V0 so already I said VI is greater than VUT, it is the positive voltage. So when it reach, uh, VI uh, reaches some, exceeds some voltage level, it triggers the output voltage. Okay, this is the concept. So now the voltage is constant. When VI is greater than VUT, that means upper threshold voltage. When this is VI, now we are increasing the VA input voltage. Now the input voltage is increasing the upper threshold voltage the output voltage is switched to minus V saturation is it clear now we are decreasing the VI voltage input voltage that is we are decreasing the uh, uh, input voltage when it exceed lower threshold voltage the output voltage switches to plus V saturation if you are comparing these two graph we will get like this so here this is the this is for upper threshold voltage level this is for lower threshold voltage level if you see this graph this is the hysteresis loop we all know what is hysteresis loop now we calculate the hysteresis width the difference between upper threshold voltage and lower threshold voltage is the hysteresis width that is represented by hysteresis width represented by VH that is equal to VUT minus VLT that is upper threshold voltage minus lower threshold voltage. Then we have to calculate what is the value of these two. Now we calculate threshold voltages that is upper threshold voltage and lower threshold voltage. 
upper threshold voltage we are taking the output voltage is equal to plus V saturation. So the voltage at the non-inverting terminal is what is the voltage at the non-inverting terminal let's see. So here this is the voltage of plus V saturation here we are applying the reference voltage in the R2 resistance that means this is the R2 reference voltage. If you are adding these two voltages that is the total voltage of the non-inverting terminal right. So here we are going to add these two voltages using superposition theorem. So here first we are using one voltage source is short circuited. So first we are going to short circuit this voltage source then only the voltage V0 is equal to 0. So here we are applying KVL that is V reference into same voltage divided by to same resistance divided by total resistance that is R2 divided by R1 plus R2. So this is the first source. Now we are going to re remove this source using this source we, are, we will get like this that is V saturation that is V sat into R1 divided by R1 plus R2. If we are adding these two we will get the total upper threshold voltage that is VUT. So VUT is equal to V reference into R2 divided by R1 plus R2 plus V saturation into R1 divided by R1 plus R2. Next we are when we are uh, having V0 is equal to minus V saturation. Okay, next to minus V saturation, same we are going to use superposition theorem. So here same, in, in this reference voltage now we are removing this voltage source, uh, apply KVL to this loop, we will get like this only. Next we are remove this source, apply KVL to this loop, we will get this is minus V saturation, right? Our V0 value is equal to minus. So this is minus V saturation into R1 divided by R1 plus R2. Then what we, uh, we will get? That is VLT is equal to V reference into R2 divided by R1 plus R2 minus V sat into R1 divided by R1 plus R2. So this is the upper threshold voltage value and lower threshold voltage value. It is clear? Okay, next we are going to calculate the hysteresis with already we saw that is VH is equal to upper threshold voltage minus lower threshold voltage. Now we are going to minus equation number 2 to 3. So uh, if you are minusing here minus of this is minus already minus is here. So minus of V reference into R2 divided by R1 plus R2 this is minus so minus into minus plus. Okay, so here these two terms are cancelled. Then if you are adding these two we will get the hysteresis width is equal to 2 V sat R1 divided by R1 plus R2. That means that voltage is independent of V reference. Now we can say the schematic trigger only compare the output voltage. Right. So schematic trigger compare the input voltage and the feedback voltage. Now it's, it is clear but comparator what comparator compares the voltage comparator compares input voltage and the reference voltage. So here that VH is independent of the reference voltage. So next we see about the waveform of schematic trigger. So we are applying sinusoidal input to the inverting terminal. So here this is the output waveform. So this is the upper threshold voltage level. This is the lower threshold voltage level. So when VI input voltage is greater than upper threshold voltage. Upper threshold voltage. So this is the level of upper threshold voltage. When the input voltage is greater than upper threshold voltage. It is switched to the negative saturation voltage. Okay. At that time it switches to the negative saturation when next when it crosses the lower threshold voltage VA input voltage is less than VLT it is switches to the plus V saturation this is repeated. So this is the waveform of schematic trigger. Let us see the application of schematic trigger. So this is sine to square wave converter. If you see the waveform we can say this is sine to square wave converter. Next to this schematic trigger is a temperature controller. So in this video we learn about schematic trigger. Thank you.